Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how you can use this tool you're seeing right here to export your Google Sheet as PDF and email it. Here I want to export this employee sheet as PDF and save it to my Google Drive. I also want to email it to the concerned recipients. So let me show you how to do that. In the Settings tab, we need to configure a few settings like the folder where you want to export the sheet, the name of the sheet that needs to be converted to PDF, and whether you want to repeat the top row in every page or not. For sending email, you will need to modify these settings like the recipients list, subject and email body. Here in the recipients input, I have used a formula to pull the list from this range. You can easily update the list here and it will be converted to comma separated recipients in the recipient input. Let me show you the demo. Here I have opened a demo sheet that contains a list of employees. I want to export it as a PDF and store it in, let's say, this folder. I will copy the folder ID like this. Then paste this here. Enter the sheet name. And I will set the repeat row to true. Let's click on the export as PDF button. It's running. And now it has finished. Let's check that in the chosen folder. Here you can see the newly exported file. Let me open this. I will have to zoom it a little bit. And here you can see. It's also repeating the top row. Now let's test emailing also. I have already got recipients ready. Let's fill out the rest of the form. And then click send as PDF. If it's running now. Finished. Let's check the emails. I am checking in the sent folder. Here you see, it has been sent to both the recipients. This is the attached PDF. Let me open that and view it. So everything is working as expected. If you are liking the video, then please take a moment to like and subscribe and watch it till the end because it will really support my channel. Now let's do the code walkthrough. Open the script editor by clicking on extensions and then app script. Now on top you will see the function named export as PDF. It takes three arguments, folder ID, sheet name and show frozen row flag. Our first objective is to get the export URL from the sheet URL. Then we will make a request to the export URL. That will give us a response which will be converted to file blob. I will post the link to the reference related to file blob. So the script starts with first getting the sheet that needs to be exported. Then we get its URL. We manipulate the URL a little bit and then add some extra parameter strings or params at the end of it that basically sets the different configuration for the exported file like export format, size, orientation, etc. You can read the comments for more information about these export parameters. Then we also need to have an OAuth token. It is required to make a request to fetch the export URL. Here we make a request using the URL fetch app. Then we convert the response to a blob. The blob object represents a blob, which is a file-like object of immutable raw data. They can be read as text or binary data, or converted into a readable stream so its methods can be used for processing the data. Here you can read more about this. Back to code. After that we get the folder using folder ID. And this is the way to create a file inside a folder. We also return the file so that it can be used to send email. 
Now let's come to the emailing part. Email PDF function requires additional three parameters, namely recipients, subject, and email body. It first calls the above function by passing folder ID, sheet name, and show frozen flag as parameters. Then it simply makes use of mail app dot send email to send email. Here is the reference to this method. I will post the link in the description. Now back to code. This function requires recipients, subject body, and attachment. Here we provide the file returned from the first function as an attachment. This completes the email sending part. Now these are the two main functions that are actually hooked to the buttons in the settings tab. Export to Google Drive and email PDF. Both functions call Jet Settings first. Then it passes the retrieved setting object to the respective functions that are defined above. Let me explain the Get Settings method. We first retrieve the setting sheet. Then we read values from B2 to B12 in the Settings tab. Let me show that in the sheet why we are choosing this range. Here you can see that all the values are entered within the range B2 to B12. Now back to code. We then filter it for string. Basically, this will filter out all the empty values. Then we flatten the array. Why? Because the read values were initially stored in a two-dimensional array. This is object destructuring syntax in JavaScript. Basically, it's way of assigning the values in the final array to these variables. From these variables, we finally construct a settings object and then return it. Let me show you quickly how the data transformation takes place at different steps in this function by running this. Here you can see it's first logging the values in the range B2 to B12. You can see that it's a two-dimensional array and it also contains empty values. After that you see the filtered array. Then you see a flattened array. Then these values are assigned to different variables through the process called destructuring assignment. Here you can read more about this. Link will be posted in the description. Back to the editor. These settings are then passed in the functions here. This block is simply creating two menu items so that you can access the above two functions alternatively and have the same outcome. Let me show that to you. Here in the settings tab, I have drawn the button to call those functions. But you can access those two functions from this menu also. That's the end of the code walkthrough. Now to make it yours, please make a copy of this spreadsheet from the link below. It will take a few seconds. Then go to the Settings tab. Fill out the form. And then simply run it. If you are running it for the first time, then it will ask for authorization. Go ahead and grant all the permissions and then click the button again to run it. If you liked the video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I am Pritam and thanks for watching. See you in the next one.